just ate four slices of jalapeno. You know water doesn't help. Update on this camera shelf. All right, everyone knows if you watched the other vlog when he installed an outlet, everyone knows how this camera shelf is arranged. Hooks here for the GoPro stuff, GoPro stuff, other cameras. So he installed four plugs right here, so two outlets, and uh, that's great. But I only have one cube and more than one USB item that I might have to charge. So we got what's called a USB hub, and this has, here, let me show you. This has four USB plugs that are turned on with a switch. So I can charge up the four USB things at a time. I think it's pretty cool. I like my camera shelf. Speaking of cameras, let's talk about cameras. I'm gonna be going through the cameras that I use and the stuff that I use um, with the cameras, so the accessories and everything like that for people who want to know. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the cameras that I use. Um, this that you're looking at right now is called a Canon SX610 HS. You see this? It's a little point-and-shoot camera. Now, let me show to shield this. It's a point-and-shoot camera. I have it on this Action Gorillapod. The Gorillapod came with a GoPro mount or a GoPro to tripod mount, I'm sorry, um, and I think it's meant for that, but it also has a standard tripod mount that hooks onto any regular camera like this one. So I use this. Okay. I used to use one of these. This is a Joby Gorillapod Original. Um, it's good, it's okay, but first of all, it's pretty little, okay? So you don't get much length uh, away from it. And if you bend it like you're supposed to, like this, it's kind of awkward to hold. So you have to bend it like this, and then it's like a hand, it's just like a little handle. And it's not, it's not great for this type of camera. Um, and another thing about this Gorillapod. Okay, so say, just say I have my camera on the tripod. I'm bending it to kind of, uh, so I can vlog, okay? Uh, okay this happens. See right here there is a little crack. That crack makes it really really loose okay so this joint always pops out okay check this out you see this it shouldn't do that. So those two things together made me buy this Gorillapod right here. This one's just more heavy duty, it's larger, it's still pretty light, um, and it also has a ball head mount so that I can smoothly turn the camera, just like this. You see how smooth that was? And I can also go like this, bend it straight downward, um, it's really great. Also, it has a level on it, that's another added bonus. So I, Joby has really good uh, customer service, so I emailed them with pictures of the cracks on this thing, and they actually sent me, they sent me a brand new one. So now I use this one just for GoPros. Um, Alright, so speaking of GoPros, this is my GoPro Hero 5 Black. You can see this, okay, most of you probably know about this, but I had just have it set up on this little Gorillapod original, and yeah, this is it. Also, it has an LCD screen. You can see what you're recording. It has very good audio and can do awesome slow motion with 1080 at 100 frames per second. My older Hero 4 session, which is actually being sent in, and they're sending me a new one because of water damage, uh, it only did 120 frames per second at 720p, so you were going down in video quality to get good slow motion. This does 1080p at 60, 30, and 120 frames per second. 
And there's some more uh, little ones in there, like 48, I think it does. Um, this goes all the way to, up to 4K resolution, but since my videos are only in 1080, since this is 1080, um, I do shoot in 1080 with GoPros. Oh, and the Hero 5s also have voice commands, so that is an added bonus. So yeah, I do have a Hero 4 session. Would I recommend it? No, I would not. It has had to get sent in twice. I actually had my first one, and that one actually was not water damage. I'm sorry. But it wouldn't hold the date and the time because it couldn't connect properly, and it wouldn't connect properly anytime to my cell phone. So... That was sent in, and they gave me a new one. Okay? Perfect. Well, that new one actually stopped working from water damage. Well, this GoPro just completely stopped working. I don't know what happened. Their door is supposed to be water sealed. I sealed the door properly. I check every time before I bring it under water if the door sealed properly, and guess what? Nope, water still leaked in. It stopped working. So GoPro is replacing it. So again, great customer service with these companies. Joby's great. GoPro's great with customer service. Hadn't had any problems with Canon yet. But but at least they're actually sending me a new one. But I hope that doesn't happen again. It's crazy. And uh, it's only a one-year manufacturer's warranty. So if it breaks after a year and a day, you're out of luck. Well, I know this isn't anything official with lighting or anything set up. But um, GoPro did get my Hero 4 session back. And this is the Hero 4 session. I'm just holding it. Um... But you can see that it doesn't have as good a quality as audio, and it also doesn't have that image stabilization. So you can see how there's a little bit of shake to this. Um, that is, you can deal with it, but that's another advantage with the Hero 5 that I really like. Also, it has no LCD screen. Um, so you can't see yourself where you're recording. Not really a problem when you're vlogging because uh, Hero 5 doesn't have a LCD screen that flips out. So you can't see yourself as you're vlogging, pointing it at you. But if you're holding it like this, um, on the Hero 5, I would be able to see that. On this uh, session, I'm not able to see that. The only two that have LCD screens are the Hero 4 Silver and the Hero 5 Black. If you're gonna go for one of those two because of the LCD screen, definitely I would recommend the Hero 5 because it's touch screen as well. And also, a lot of the other advantages mentioned with the Hero 5 would make me go with that one as well. For GoPros, um, I also, since they're USB charged, I have this portable USB charger. Um, mainly I use it for GoPro, sometimes for my phone, maybe when I'm on an airplane. Um, this is a Jackery Giant Plus. Alright, back to point and shoots. This is still my Canon camera. Um, I'm going to switch and show you my other point and shoot. The image you're looking at right now is this Nikon S9500. Um, I absolutely hate it. This right here, this is what it looks like. Right here, you see that? It's red. <laughs> I got the red version. It does 1080p at 30 frames per second, 720 at 60. Um, I think the same thing as those does, same specs, roughly. Um, but it's just so, so, so unreliable. First of all, one time when I was recording, the audio completely got unmatched, unsynced, so I would, it would sound like this, it would sound like this. Do you see how that's a kind of a delay? I would say something like and then you would hear i hate this camera after the audio would never be matched up and it was so 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 annoying one time this camera just stopped working stopped turning on three months later i had a feeling i should save it for some reason three months later it turns back on also the video quality isn't as good the color is not as accurate as the real colors. You know what? I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of my Canon camera and this Nikon camera. Alright, so Canon might be a little shaky right now. That's because I'm holding it. But you can just see how the images are completely different, okay? Look at this. You see this? Hi. Alright. The colors on the Canon camera are better 
than this red night gun camera. Um, audio is better. Listen, here's Canon audio. All right, Canon audio, testing, testing, one, two, three. Here's Nikon. Nikon audio, testing, testing, one, two, three. I really like the Canon camera. It's way better. <laughs> Canon PowerShot SX610HS is this camera. It's great. This camera is what I use for all of my vlogs when you watch these recent videos. All right, that really is it for the camera portion of this vlog. Let's check if our balloons are uh, frozen downstairs. Okay, here's the real ice one. I'm excited about this. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, there's a few cracks. It's liquid on the inside. That's okay. Did you see that? I hope that looked good. Yeah, well, my dad accidentally got hit with one of the shards. That's what that is. No, I'm just kidding. That's from the red balloon. Actually, right now I'm going to Mano's house. Um, my parents, I think they're going to like this Christmas party, I want to say. Um, so I'm going there getting all, all my stuff in the bag. Okay, I'm, I'm all packed up. Is that, can we go? Okay, hi Jay. We're entertaining ourselves right now by, by watching my videos. No! Trying to do a live stream and Monica has one person watching. Let's just eat. Pami, why you like So Pami just ate four slices of jalapeno and some of these crushed red peppers right here. Um me, you know water doesn't help. Yeah, you know water makes it worse. I'm gonna make it help. All it does is spread the oils on your tongue and makes it more spicy. I think we lost both. One. We're live oh, she, streaming. Oh, our, Kennedy just said, be right back. We're live streaming our Call of Duty game. They're still doing live streams. Oh, you actually want to get I gotta go. I gotta get packed up.